to Ash 200, I suppose. It's a, it's a, it's a big milestone, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, a lot of people when I got drafted wouldn't have thought I would have made 200, but um, you know, to make 200 games is a massive milestone and I'm proud to have uh, played 200 for the same club. Well, what, what, I suppose obviously the grand final in 03 was the highlight. Is there any other games that stick out as, as highlights across the 200? Yeah, there's, there's been a few. Um, you know, the prelim that 2003 year uh, against Sydney down there mm. to get us in the grand final, and um, there's a few games in the uh, 09 season. You know, the, the final against Carlton and um, the game against Port Adelaide at the Gabba, where I think they had 60 points to a quarter time, and we uh, were able to come back and have a win. So they were some of my favourites throughout my career. Yeah. There's only a couple of years left from that premiership, Ash. Obviously, Blackie and Brennan. How have you managed to stick through that 10 or 12 <laughs> years as well, when others have sort of fallen by the way? So. Uh, that's a good question. Um, you have to ask Lee and Vossi that one. So, uh, you know, I surprise myself every now and then that, um, you know, I've played 13 years and, you know, uh, I count myself pretty fortunate um, that I'm still in the game. Um, so, yeah, you have to ask Vossi. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you've had some uh, battles with skin folds and yeah. training fitness, whatever. Like, how hard has that been to overcome and continue to? Like you're staying in good shape and, and yeah, just comes down to what you put in your mouth and uh, you know I don't mind doing the extra boxing during the week so you know it's a constant battle for me um, you know I can I can stack it on pretty quick a bit like Rockcliffe um, <laughs> so yeah you know it's just just doing the little things during the week and just uh, being diligent at home so it's good how, how many more years have you got left in here <laughs> uh, well I'm contracted to next year so um, We'll get through this year and the following year, and you know I'll I'll be uh, well, be 31 then. So um, you know I'll have to sit down with the coaches and see where they see the team going, and see where I'm going. So you feel, still feel good physically, like you can keep going. Yeah, I feel like I've got another two or three years left in me. So um, you know it just comes down to the direction where the club's going, and if uh, the, the coaches see me still in the team, and you know it comes down to be like uh, you know I'll be. If, if I play a following you after 32 and just where the mind is mentally and the body is physically, I suppose, yeah. Speaking of direction, you feel like the, you can't, you're confident you can't, can be part of brighter times ahead in the next couple of years? Yeah, well, the last couple of years we, we've pumped games into some of the younger boys and, you know, we've just got that age group that are coming up now. Like We've got, the, as everyone knows, the Riches, Reddins, Rockliffs, and we just need that group below them to uh, come through. You know, we've got Yoey, Doherty, uh, Carnesis and then blokes. So, uh, you know, We've got a good list and the, and the team looks good. So, um, you know, if Blackie can play another year and Brownie can play another year, it'd be helpful as well. Geelong Rifle, um, how do you beat him? <laughs> uh, how does anyone beat him? Um, you know, we've got a game plan for this week and uh, if we stick to it, we think we can um, we can hold him in good stead. So, uh, you know, we got, took a lot of confidence out of last week's game. Um, I thought we held Fremantle pretty close all game and it was just like a couple of lapses in the last quarter that. Um, Blew, blew it out to 40 points. You know, we take the confidence from last week, bring it into this week, and uh, in the last couple of times we've played Geelong at the Gabba, we, besides uh, the, the game in the wet last, I think it was last year, um, I thought we played pretty well against them, so uh, if we hold our game plan that we've got in place this week, uh, I think we'll go all right.